good morning. Today we are out at the Ray Roberts State Park up on Lake Ray Roberts at the Al Dubois unit. I'll post maps and links and information in the video. Uh, we've come into the park, uh, came down by the Jordan Trailhead Blue Stem Camping Area, and I'll show that all on the map too. Uh, as you can see behind me, there are little stables. Uh, this is part of the equestrian area. There's also some picnic tables back up. You can't really see it very well back up behind me a little bit. There's restrooms, there's parking and some areas. So we are going to go off on the Jordan Trailhead um, and it's named that way because if you go about seven miles it'll take you to the Jordan unit. Uh, Ray Roberts State Park is comprised of several units. The Isle Bois, the Jordan, uh, there's another one, I forget the name of it off the top of my head, but you'll see it all on the map. So we're going to go out and see what we can see out here today. Well, we just started onto the trail, and right as the trail starts off, if you can see behind me there, there's a big open field. We saw three deer as we were riding in on the road, and then as soon as we came onto this field behind us, we saw two large bucks, and then we've also seen a couple of does. Got some photos that I put in there, and then they disappeared into those trees off behind us. So uh, if you come out early in the morning, there's a real good chance, it looks like, that you'll see, I guess, they cross this field as they're moving around. But we've seen several out here, so that was a nice start for the morning already. Well, we've come down the trail just a little bit, maybe half mile, three quarters of a mile at most. As you can see behind me, the trails are really good. They're wide, uh, pretty clear. You do need to watch out for horse manure because these are multi-use trails, equestrian and uh, hiking and whatever, biking and stuff, so variety. But uh, so because they are with the equestrian, they're, they're pretty clear, pretty wide. So it's good for hiking. Um, we've come down now closer to the lake, as you can see behind me. It's late November, it's no, well, just past mid-November, the 18th, and so not as much uh, activity on the wading birds right now uh, in this particular area. I was hoping we might see more, but you just never know. But like so we've seen the deer, we crossed past with them several times before they finally ran off into the woods uh, and we can no longer see them. But a couple of nice bucks, Look, one looked to be a possibly a 10 or 12 point, another slightly smaller, maybe eight point, and then some does and fawns, so uh, been pretty good so far there. As you can hear in the background, the crows, there's always crows, they're always out and about. We've seen several flying around, so, but been a pretty interesting day so far, uh, especially considering we got out here after sunrise. As you can see, the sun is not well up, it's, but it's up, it's above the sky, so it's uh, a nice, a chilly, about a 50 degree morning, so pretty pleasant so far. Uh, we're going to go on and see what else awaits us. Hopefully, maybe some more deer, more birds. We'll find out as we go. We didn't come too much further, and then we came found a little small trail that broke off of the main trail that brought us right down to the lake here. So we around so I'm not getting blinded. And as you can see, a beautiful little view here of the lake. Not too many birds, there's way across on the far side is a long great blue heron that I can just barely see so far that I can't even really get him with my 600 millimeter uh, telephoto. But it's very peaceful, very quiet, beautiful. Not a lot of noise, you can hear some of the roads nearby. There's constru construction not too far away, but Overall, it's still extremely peaceful. The trails are good, beautiful. Uh, you can hear a lot of birds, a lot of songbirds all up in the trees. Of course, they're always fun to catch because they're always flitting and don't stop a whole lot. Uh, saw a flock of cormorants flying overhead just a bit ago. I've seen several other individual cormorants flying around. So, uh, 
not a ton of wildlife but still very very beautiful the trails are excellent for hiking uh, probably could bring your bike out and do biking equestrian so a lot of use as with all of our state parks there they're very diverse in what they offer have a lot of good facilities and this one is just like all the others so far so we're going to keep going and see what else awaits for us Well, we're back where we started. Uh, didn't quite go three miles, went a little over about a mile and a half out almost, and then turned around and came back. Some little side divergence added to it. Uh, saw about a dozen or so deer, give or take a little. They kept crisscrossing paths with us. Uh, a couple were pretty distinct, so we know there was different ones. We saw one big buck a couple times at about 12 points. Another one that had uh, lost an antler. I don't know if he lost it in uh, rutting and fighting or if he was getting ready to shed because I know they do shed them for the winter I'm not sure what the timing of that is in Texas uh, We saw him a couple of times a bunch of does. We did see one bald eagle uh, Was flying over the lake. It was ways out. So I'm not sure that I got a really good photo of it um, So that means that there's at least one out here and because we're in mating season Most likely it's part of a breeding pair. So there's a pair somewhere either out on the lake uh, because they do nest near lakes so I would say it's fairly safe to assume that somewhere out on Lake Ryder Roberts there's at least one pair of mating bald eagles uh, so if you come out here during the winter their breeding season gets from October to about March here in North Texas so there's a chance you can see a, a bald eagle or two out here so that's uh, two trips cons consecutive trips where we've been fortunate to see bald eagles we saw one last week at Hagerman we saw a pair and then we saw the one today uh, we're going to pack up here in a minute and then what we'll do is I'm going to ride, ride around the lake and if we're lucky we might cross paths with the eagle again. Um, if not, we at least know it's out here so if we come back in the future we might can see it again. Um, so we're going to get ready to head out. Thanks for coming along on this journey with us. Uh, don't forget to like and share the video and if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel so you can get updates when I post more videos. I, I'll be putting more as we're going. I've got more to get ready. so. Uh, I look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks for coming along again and have a great day.